So good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Zakir Hader, and today I'm presenting results from our project called Getting It Right First Time, an audit of fermented total hip replacements, and this is being presented at the HSR UK Conference 2020. The Getting It Right First Time was an NHS initiative which was set up to evaluate current orthopaedic practices and therefore recommendations to improve efficiency and productivity. This led to a number of positive improvements um, since the report, which has led to a £50 million saving, um, a 36% reduction in litigation costs, and 75% of trusts have been able to renegotiate the cost of implants and reduce their use of expensive loan kits, further driving down prices. One recommendation of GERF was that patients aged over 65 years old should have cemented hip replacements. This led to a 10% modest increase in the use of cemented components, leading to a saving of £4.4 million. This audit, therefore, sought to assess our compliance with these guidelines. We contacted our local audit department within Bart's Health, which is a NHS trust consisting of three hospitals within London. We identified uh, all patients who underwent a hip replacement over a 12-month period between January 2018 to 2019. And we wanted to identify the use of cement for femoral stems in total hip arthroplasty at Bart's Health. The graph below highlights Bart's Health, um, which shows that it lies within the lower 50% of trusts performing cemented hip replacements. Now, current NJR trends show that hybrid hip replacements are on the increase, and this is where you have a cemented femoral stem and an uncemented acetabular cup. So our results show that a total of 422 hip replacements were performed at Barnes Health, of which 36% only were cemented. GERF have been able to calculate the price difference between a hybrid hip replacement and an uncemented hip replacement are found that a hybrid hip replacement is £578 cheaper per hip replacement. Given that the trust performed a total of 271 uncemented hip replacements over a 12-month period, potential cost savings of over £156,000 per annum are possible. Now, recent um, evidence has shown that cemented hip replacements, even in the younger cohort, have excellent survivorship compared to uncemented uh, hip replacements. Now, compliance with GERF is not just about the cost-saving element. It's also to um, reduce our potential for litigation um, by ensuring that we are following agreed guidelines. And with increased awareness, commissioning groups may well uh, begin to probe our implant selection. And therefore, it's important that we increase our compliance. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any queries or comments on this presentation, please add them as a comment below the video and we will read and respond. Thank you very much.